Launching in three, two. Let's go! Let's go! Are you here to play? How's everyone doing? I'm doing great. It's Teddy here from Team TJ, and welcome back to Subnautica Below Zero. Where today, I believe it is time, guys. I believe it is nearly time for us to go and build Alan a body. Yes, the time has come. It is nearly time. But before we do that, because we gotta take a nice long journey into those red crystal caves, I wanna make sure I grab as much food as possible. Alright, I collected a whole bunch of fish, so, sh so we should be good for this journey. Welcome aboard, Captain. Thank you very much. Alright, we're gonna turn all the bladder fish into bottled water. Alright, our vial signs are good now. Um... Maybe I have too much stuff on me. I'll put away the cold suit things, we don't really need that, so... Uh... Let me see, do I have enough space for all of this? I'd say probably, let's just see... Darn it. I know what to do, I know what to do. We put it in the locker. Oh, actually, why don't we just put some of the fish in... in the, in the locker in there, that way... That way... Yes, that works. That works because that way, it's uh, they're just there for when we need them. Okay, so there's all of the stuff that we need, except for uh, two pieces of lithium because uh, yeah. But you know that that sh we should be fine on that. I might actually sleep actually because there is the bed. We can actually sleep, so we can be in daytime. So let's just uh, take a nice nap real quick. And morning. All right. No commentary from Alan this time, not that I can tell. Alright, let's go. Alright, yeah, all we really need is just two pieces of lithium. And we can get those in the crystal caves. So, that should be the easy part. So, yeah, we just need to get to the crystal caves. That's going to be the, the difficult part, but it shouldn't... It really shouldn't take us too long, I think. Avoid... Calisterite Leviathan. I know that there's one that likes to linger here. We scanned the one that likes to linger around here. Alright, we just need to get into the lily pad zone, go past Margaret Maida's place, and... I'm pretty sure that's all we really need to do, right? The most time-consuming part of this is probably going to be the journey there. I think I'll just cut back once we are there, unless something interesting happens, but I'm sure that nothing interesting will happen. Alright, we have returned to the Crystal Caves. This is the, uh, the safer portion right now, where there is no, uh, Shadow Leviathans, but there is Lithium, so we want to grab that. So give me that, and I think, uh, I'll just drink one of those real quick and see where is another lithium there is another lithium there we go okay that may gives us our plasteel ingot all right give me this plasteel ingot right now and wonderful so we have literally everything that we need everything okay i think wait doesn't this thing yeah, I think that thing can affect the fish around us or something like that. So maybe that could be useful in case of Shadow Leviathan. Okay, I'm pretty sure I remember the direction it we took to get to the Red Crystal Cave. So I think we need to go yeah, around this way, yeah. We just need to keep going this way because I remember it being east. I At least I remember that much because I remember when I was re-watching the video when I was editing it, it was east. So... Yeah, we just need to keep going east, and we'll eventually get to the Red Crystal Caves, and, and then we'll find the, the Precursor Fabrication Facility thing again. I think we're nearing, actually, the Red Crystal Caves soon. Yeah, because the purple crystals are starting to disappear. 
That's a pretty good telltale sign that we are nearing the red. All right. We know shall Leviathans roam this these areas. So we must be cautious and do one thing before anything. Scan that plant because I have not scanned that plant before. Eclipse plant. Thank you for being added to the data bank. Yes. Yeah, my priorities are straight, definitely. Okay. Now in we go. This Remember Shadow Leviathans, there's like a couple of them that roam this biome. Maybe even more than the other one. I am. I see one! Okay, and it's in the direction we need to go. Of course he is. Of course he's in the direction we need to go in. I think he's I think he saw me. Yep, he saw me. He saw me. Evade! Evade! No! I I tried to evade! No! Ah! Oh. No, I evade! Evade, evade! Move away now! Okay. There's the precursor facility even. Wow, okay. We nearly made it before any bad happened. Okay. Now um out Now I don't You said this was the spot where I can make you a body, right? Yes. Alright, thanks, Salen. Once you have used the fabricator to build each component, we can assemble them. And then we can transfer you out of my head? I am anticipating it as much as you are. Alright, cool. Let's just repair this so it's not completely screwed by the time- so when we get out of here. Yeah, okay. Now we can go in here. Okay, so. I think we have all the ingredients, correct? Let me just check here with the blueprints. Yep, yep, and yep. Alright, we're good. Alright, let's do this! So starting off with the... the skeleton. So Alan, you said your people came here in search of a cure? I was a researcher. You were a scientist? Like me? My people regarded my scientific contributions with particular interest. As I said, like me. If that is your interpretation. So how did your valuable scientific mind wind up infected? Not my mind, my body. Perhaps you should build the next component. Okay. So you came here to search for a cure? I left the mission. Does that mean the bacteria got out on your watch? This subject is uncomfortable. If you would like to know more, I will ask that you first construct the final component. Okay, we can't scan these, but there's the skeleton, there's the tissues, now the organs. This is the last piece. Soon I will be autonomous again. What will you do with your newfound freedom? I must return home to make amends. Amends? For the bacterium? There seems to be a lot you're not telling me. It is hard for me to find the words. I must collect my thoughts. We have all the necessary components. You may initiate body fabrication sequence from the time. You still owe me an explanation. I understand. Okay. Here here we go, guys! Here goes nothing! The escape of the bacteria was an accident. I thought my solution was foolproof. Yeah. I was wrong. Did you cause the accident? Yes. Oh. oh. I do not wish to speak about it. We can come back to this. Wow, okay then. One look at that.
Hello? Research. Tit for tat. You've probed my mind. I scan your body. Research. Architect body. The complete physical architect vessel is a biotechnology and cybernetic hybrid incorporating design elements from more than 20 DNA sources. Skin, the outer layer of tissue, has the consistency of leather. The tissue is interlaced with channels of visibly glowing energy, powered by the alien's internal biotechnological heart. Robotic arms! Alan has six articulated arms that are suspended around his body by magnetic levitation. These arms contain independent high-speed computing systems and are capable of performing tasks independently. Limbs. The organic limbs are considered secondary to the inorganic robotic arms. These are used for mundane tasks that don't require much fine motor movement. The bottom half of the arms are covered in a biocomposite plating. The plating might serve as a form of armor. It also appears to store latent energy buildups like capacitors. Mobility. The hooved legs are reminiscent of several species of mountain goats. The hooves are covered in microscopic hooks that aid in exploring rough and uneven terrain. The forelegs and the hind legs are oddly close together, which explains why walking might be a secondary mode of movement for this architect form. Teleportation. This architect body is able to teleport or blink short distances. The method is likely a scaled-down version of the teleportation gates, but the mythology is not well understood. It is likely that Architect's body is able to provide the massive amount of power necessary for this function. Matching DNA fragments appear to be derived from the following sources. Tronium bore of Caltwell Prime, an invasive species known for their extremely rough and tough skin, which makes them hard to eradicate. Putty Serpent of Opuscar. This snake it has extremely tensile skin, prevents it from tearing, and allows it to compress itself into small places. Electrode Eel of Lithiaton generates with electricity charged slime across its length. Astral Rays, Moons of Mordon 14. These rays have small organs that generate and store electricity. Shaggy Goats of Olympion. These herbivorous creatures live on the rocky foothills of the mountain planet Olympiton and are excellent climbers. Giant Geckos of Holds Asteroid. Massive geckos that emit an electromagnetic charge in its foot pads. This creates a charge difference in the surface the gecko is climbing. The markers of at least a dozen other biological species are present, but unrecognized at this time. Interesting. Ooh. And so Alan was the one in charge of then. He was the one in charge of the Kara research off in the volcanic crater. He, if it was his fault that it all went wrong, he was the one who brought the sea dragon egg into the Lost River facility, which is the reason why the sea dragon leviathan mother banged her head on it, causing the facility to crash and got the craw out. It was his fault. All right, initiate transfer. Commencing to Chasco. Oh boy. Ah. Oh. Okay, ow. Are Did you... it work? Are we... Whoa. It has been some time since I last stretched out in so many dimensions. Ooh. Whoa. Whoa. Waking from a dream. Oh my god. Hey. You're really 
not in my head anymore? There are some remnants. Would you like your memories of me removed as well? Are you kidding? No way. You still owe me the end of your story. I told you I must return home. To assess. Repair. Make amends. Tell me more. When the bacteria escaped, it was my fault. I disobeyed the directive from my network. Ooh. Oh no. Whoa! We noticed that a species of Leviathan young produced an enzyme that is efficient against the bacteria. I thought if we incubated sea dragon eggs, we might expedite their hatching. I was not wrong. But... It would appear that sea dragon parents are stronger and more motivated than our facility was rated to handle. Like I said! The bacteria got out, infecting everything. How many survived the outbreak back home? Are they still waiting for someone to bring back a cure? I do not know. Can I help? The fact that I withheld this information does not concern you. I'm certainly manipulative. And I've also made my own share of mistakes. I'm still committed to helping. I accept your help. Find me at the gate when you are ready. In the meantime, I must prepare. Signal location uploaded to PDA. And we got the achievement. Out of mind. Can we scan this? No, I don't think we can, but... Alan is just... here now. I guess we can... Please, I will join you in the gate base when everything is ready. But for now, I have much to prepare. All right, Alan. I, I don't know how you in... Well, actually, no, you, you have the teleportation thing, so I can see how you intend to do that. But now he's just got to work on stuff. Well, it's good to have you out of my head, Alan, but uh, I, I'll i see you at the gate. We're heading over there now. Okay, so all of our, uh, all of our in ingredients for Alan's body are out, so that means that we have a lot of space now, and uh, I'm just gonna just gonna make sure I have all good vital signs before we head on our way all right okay now it's time to get out of here fun oh no already already are you kidding me no 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 oh I thought that would do oh, yeah. Oh no, God. Okay, okay, okay. Yeah, thank. Oh. No. Not getting attacked. No, no, I don't think this ship can take that. Okay. I think that. I think that worked. The electric thing worked. Good. Good. Very good. Okay, park here. Real quick. Get out the back here. Okay, I need a fresh battery in this thing. Okay, repair. This thing is basically about to explode. Okay, okay. Sub back at full health. Let's get the freak out of here. Oh, freaking hell! There's no way we're escaping this! No, no, no! Ah! There we go. Okay, that, that worked. That worked. Okay, so that's what that does. It's like a jolt that makes them really not want to be touching me. That's good. That is very good. Get out of- No, not a- not another one. Oh no you don't. You get shocked too. Okay. You get the shock too. Oh right. I'm glad I figured that one out. That would have been nice to know earlier, but hey, better late than never. I'm pretty sure it saved our ship a bit ago, because, like, it would have, it would have probably not survived that second attack. Oh my god, okay. Yeah, I'm sure Alan's plan of getting out of here is probably going to be teleporting. That, or he is way, 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 way braver than I am. 
ba get back home because before we go to the gate, there's one thing I want to grab because I think mostly for our own character Robin, I think it's something that she would want to have. The fact that we're going towards the gate, that's telling me this is that's how we're getting off this planet. Because there's no rocket as far as I'm aware, but I think but the of big phase gate thing that the precursors used to go between planets, that sounds like our way out off 4546B this time. So I think that that's what... That's my best guess, I think, is we're going to be... We're going to be going through the phase gate with Alan, I think. I think, but we need to get there. And we already know where it is. It's, uh... It's near, uh... Uh, Outpost Zero. Okay, I got my thing ready in case Shadow Leviathan tries anything. Because I heard that Shadow Leviathan. Don't see him. I guess he just decided not to bother. Alright, good. Alright, let's go home. Yeah, I'm not... I'm actually not cutting... Yeah, I'm actually not... No, actually, no. Because we just built Alan's body. That's a big deal! Because, like, now he's out of our head. He's been in our head since, I think, like, the second episode. And it's crazy to think that... Like, like about 20 episodes later, he's finally out of our head. But... The other thing is that we learned about him and stuff. We learned that he was one of the scientists that tried to find a cure for the Kara bacterium. He worked in the Lost River facility, and he's the one that took the Sea Dragon Leviathan egg from its mother, causing the Sea Dragon Leviathan mother to attack the facility. He's the reason the outbreak happened, which... Yeah, that is... So because of him, because of his mistake, the Kara got out in the first place. That is crazy lore, honestly. Now, I never actually thought about why did they take the Sea Dragon egg. I mean, he mentioned enzymes, so he mentioned, like, that mean, meant enzyme 42. I'm wondering if maybe... Uh, shut up. Okay, I'm wondering if maybe he... Because if you actually do think about how the Sea Emperor Leviathan and the Sea Dragon Leviathan look, they look similar. I think maybe he thought that they they must have had a common ancestor, so maybe he thought because the Sea Emperor Leviathan could produce Enzyme 42, that the Sea Dragon Leviathan could produce it as well. That might be the reason. Because like they look like they may have had a common ancestor, they look similar. Alright. If Eclipse writes after me, I have my shock thing. Or maybe it automatically ignored me. It's yeah. I think it just automatically ignored me. Cool! Alright. Let's get in here. Welcome aboard, Captain. Thank you very much. Alright. Hello, all my fishies. My, my squid shark is actually kind of getting pretty big. Oh my goodness. All right, I want to go to sleep real quick. Let another day pass and stuff, you know, let Alan prepare. All right, another day has passed, and yeah. All right, now we're taking Sam's necklace with us because, well, it was Sam's necklace, and Sam was our sister. Maybe I'll take the picture of Potato, too, just so that way we have that. So we got Sam's necklace and the picture of Potato. Uh, I'll also take this picture of Potato as well. I think we'll leave everything else. Good, Goodbye, all of my little fishies that I've collected. I hope you all enjoy your lives in there. I can't leave this not-so-good battery uncharged, so I'm gonna put it in the battery charger, but um, even though we're not- I don't think we're gonna be coming back. So, I think we need to go, yep, we need to go in this direction, we need to go to the phase gate facility, so, 
actually, because I'm probably not going to be eating any of you guys. I'm release you all back into the wild. Enjoy your freedom. All right, yeah, this is where uh, where this is where um, outpost zero was, or at least kind of close to it. Yeah, here we are. This is the way in to outpost zero's area, which is also where the where the phase gate is. So let's let's get a move on, guys. Weather approaching. Seek shelter. We'll be fine. I think. Oh god, maybe... Maybe not. This is very severe. I cannot see a thing. My one complaint about the weather system in this game is this. Look at the... How far can you see? What can you see? Outpost Zero is supposed to be right there. What can you see? Alright, it's cleared up. Let's get a move on. So I know that the cave is this way. Alright, into the cave. The phase gate facility is close. Is Alan already here? Alan? Oh, I think I think I see him in there. Yep. Yep, that's him. Alan! Are you preparing to leave, Alan? Yes. There is much to do. Ooh. Okay. Whoa. Okay. Alan? Do you still wish to leave with me? Beyond this teleporter, there is no turning back. Are you kidding? I can't pass up a chance to see where architects come from. Besides, I don't have another ride. I do not know what we will find there. The others may be sick, or angry, if they live at all. Or, you could find peace. Family. I hope you are right. Please complete any business you still have on this planet. Join me on the other side when you are ready to leave. Alright, okay, he's gone. Well, guys, I... Can't think of anything else we have left to do. So let's do this, guys. Let's see the precursor homeworld. Let's follow Alan. Goodbye, 4546B once again. Sector 0, 4546B this time. I'm sure that I will be back. For now, let's go. Oh boy. Oh boy, where do we end up? Oh. Alan? Looks like snow again, more snow. Robin, you're just in time. Phase gate is opening. Oh, okay. We teleported to the phase gate. Okay. You've been hiding a phase gate here this whole time. Only for the last millennium. It will lead us home. Oh. Where you hid yourself from Altera? It was imperative to keep the home world safe, in hopes that the others survived. Yeah. Oh my goodness. That is epic. All right. Will you help me prepare the ship? The energy masks must be moved into place. Okay, got it. Well, this is different. Oh, we got we got precursor arms. Okay. Okay. Uh, we we need to take the the not so jump way down okay okay so we need to go down here okay so we're not quite done yet we're not quite done yet so align the pillar whoa oh my god whoa 
Whoa. Okay. Okay. We have the powers of a precursor. Uh, all right. Beep. Okay. Ooh. Oh. Okay. Precursors are really powerful. Wow. Very good. Return to me and I will initiate ship assembly. Okay. Hey, Alan. Thank you. The masks are in place. The energy field is ready. There is no time to lose. Whoa. Oh, okay, you want me to come back down to you? Or Whoa. Okay. Whoa. Oh, look at that. He's just made a precursor ship! That is a precursor spaceship! Join me, Robin. I will, Alan. I will! <laughs> oh! Ow! I apologize. The levitator was calibrated for heavier bodies. I would have helped you to your feet, but as you can see, I have been fully integrated with the ship. Is this permanent? Nothing is permanent. Are you ready to go? Yes. I found the answers I was looking for. I'm ready to move on. I can't bring Sam back. But I know she died fighting, and I got to finish her work. I'll always carry her memory. Good. Please brace yourself, and then we will depart. Okay. Brace for launch. Okay. Launching in three, two. Let's go! Let's go! Okay. Massive precursor phase gate. Alright, goodbye, 4546B. I will be back eventually, but this is also the start of hopefully another amazing adventure. What will we find when we get there? If I am the last of my kind, I will experience the sorrow of 10,000 souls dimming. Whoa! Oh! Okay! Whoa! Okay! Okay, we're good! We're good! Okay! Whoa, where are we now? What is this? Storm! Really big storm. Uh, oh! It's a precursor! And the if they survived? With you, I am ready to face whatever awaits. Oh! Oh! And that was it! That, that was Subnautica Below Zero, guys. Now let's let these credits roll and give thanks to all these incredible people who brought this game to life. This was an amazing sequel to the first Subnautica. I mean... Just absolutely incredible. The first. I will say that in some ways I do prefer the first game, but this was still really, really good. And I. We got to finally see what a precursor looked like, and we arrived at the precursor homeworld. 
Robin Ayu is on one of the craziest journeys right now, and I honestly hope that we get to learn what happens to her after all of this. That... That was awesome. That was absolutely incredible. I, I absolutely love the Subnautica franchise, it is absolutely incredible, and I know that they are working on a third game. I don't know how long it'll take before we even get a name for it, or even a first look at it, but all I do know is that there will be a third Subnautica, and I cannot wait for... And for another Subnautica, I just, I just cannot wait for another Subnautica. The first Subnautica is one of my favorite games. This is definitely a close second in that, and... Yeah. And just all these amazing people. Special thanks to the YouTubers and streamers. YouTubers and streamers everywhere! That's me! That's me! <laughs> wow. And in memoriam. Alright. But yeah. And that's it. That's the credits. And I'm pretty sure this is going to boot us back to the main menu. Any post credit scenes? Nope! Just booted back to the main menu. But... That is still more than enough, guys. Alright! This was pretty cool. I like that they had, like, multiple little stories that you could do with throughout this. Like, there was the main one with Alan, but there was also, like, figuring out what happened to Sam. There was curing the frozen Leviathan. There was, uh, helping, uh, Margaret Maida and all that. There was a lot of stuff and it was just pretty cool and then of course just like that ending was just pretty awesome honestly like we got to see we got to learn a lot about precursors rather quickly there. That was really awesome. Well guys I think that we're gonna have to wrap it up unfortunately but it's it's time for the series to end guys because we beat the game we finish it all this was incredible, guys. So, yeah, guys, that was Subnautica Below Zero. I hope you guys did enjoy this series. Please do leave a big fat thumbs up. That would be greatly appreciated. Also, if this happens to be the first video that you have seen by me, then please do consider subscribing and join Team TJ today for awesome gameplay videos and other amazing content like this. Again, apart from that, Thank you so much for watching, and I will see you all next time. Tiny 26 out. Goodbye, guys!